Browns and look at that ugly bastard. <laughs> Where'd you run? Fucking face, the demented little gremlin. What's happening? Welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, home for the first time, or uh, I don't know. What do other people say? What do YouTubers say? I don't know. I know. What's happening? How are you doing? You alright? You feeling okay? You had a bad day? You had a bad day? Go get a cup of tea. Go sit down somewhere. If you don't have the luxury of being able to take yourself away and sit down, just go sit on the toilet. Take ten minutes and just sit on the toilet. No deal question. Anyway, so today we're going to make lemon squares. But they're like, different. I'll be honest, I've never made this before. And I'm making it because I'm entirely curious. So it's like a shortbread -y business at the bottom. With like a thinner cake business on top. That like, soaks in and becomes one big business. I mean, they look really nice. But we'll see, because it's got a whole cup of lemon juice in it. So I think that's very lemony. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's start off by saying preheat your oven, because I always forget. I wrote down 180 or 160 if you've got a fan, that would be gas mark for. I don't know fan height, I'm sorry. If, if you're, if you deal with fan heights then, I don't know what to tell you. 375? Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm sorry. I should be better at this, I really should be. Uh, so we're going to wash our hands. Also, someone someone commented on one of my videos being like can you please not use white balls anymore because they are brighter than the sun and to that person I want to say I listened and I bought, I bought multi-coloured balls ta -da. so I read all my comments oh right, before we start I've got merch if you want to see Buddha with tits To like look at the link below on Teespring and have a wee swatch. I also have like gothy Ouija boards and stuff. That's my Ouija board impression. Quite cool merch to be fair. I say cool because I came up with the concept and then very talented artists came up with the actual images and they're beautiful. So if you want to support me in any way shape or form that would be cool but if you don't that's alright because I'll still be your pal regardless. It's alright it's fine. We're going to start off by making the shortbread mixy stuff. I've already went ahead and pre-squeezed all my lemons. Now I used small lemons so they're like this size and I got like eight of them. It was a whole cup of lemon juice. Do me that information what you will. Four large lemons, maybe a whole cup? Who knows. We're using cups today because I hate myself. Cups. Let's get the big bowl and we'll make a shortcake mix. Butter. How much butter do you need to use? It's cups. It's cups. I hate cups. Right. One cup of butter. How many grams in one cup of butter? 227 grams. I wasn't about to put butter in that cup and then have to clean it all out and all that. Right, next we have half a cup of sugar and two cups of flour. That we can do. I recommend sifting your flour. No. Look how much extra work this is. Can you see how much extra work this is? Right, so would you want two cups of flour? Right. So for the people that use cups quite often, can you tell me, are you supposed to pack the cup or loosely fill the cup? 
I want to know. One, let's call that two. Sugar, half a cup. So we did that to the best of our ability. Now what you would do is sift it with your like blender, do pulse in the motions with your blender to get a breadcrumb, or use your hands like I'm doing, or use one of those mad seesaw tool things that you use to make breadcrumbs. Essentially what you're doing is mixing the butter and sugar forward together to create a breadcrumb consistency. Now, what butter did I use? I used unsalted butter, so because of that I would add, add a how would? I would suggest <laughs> that you put a pinch of salt in this because Debbie likes a biscuit with any salt in it. Oh my god! So you'll just need to put up with that noise because I have hands covered in butter and I can't put my phone on mute. Um, my phone's not on mute just now because I'm professional and I forgot. Um, but if you're interested, if you're nosy, that is the editor that's still featured. Uh, who has his own YouTube channel, yeah, videos and channels and stuff, you should totally go check him out. He does Scottishy things. And he's a fabulous editor. I appreciate him very much. So you're watching this too, so thanks. I appreciate you very much. I need boring. You allow me more time with my child and I appreciate that. So because I used cups, this is not doing what it's told. It's very buttery. It's a lot more buttery than I would have any other shortbread mix. It's more of a crumble mix than anything and that I do not enjoy. But we're going to stick with it. We're going to use this person's recipe. To show you what I mean, there's so much butter in this that I can essentially just pick it all up <laughs> and make big clumps. There's, not, there's no way to make this into breadcrumbs. This is just butter. Mm. But maybe that's what it's supposed to be like. I mean, I could totally need this into a dough. <sighs> Having an internal fight with myself. Should I make my own shortbread or should I just use this? We'll just use this. I don't think that that's going to be right. But we'll do as we're told because it's not my recipe. So who am I? Who am I to judge? So the recipe that I'm using says use a 9x9 tin. This is my 9x9 tin or dish. Uh, I'm going to wine it because as I say that's pretty much just butter. So we'll wine it. So we've wined this dish. So we're going to plonk this stuff in. So this is what I'm left with. So if you're left with this we're in the same boat. Right. Right. So pour your lumpy butter in this dish and then press it down the way you would if you were making sure of it. oven for like 15 minutes and then after 15 minutes we're going to put the next bit in. I'll show you the next bit the now and we'll pour that tap of this gear. You as lost as me? Cool. Oh, next part you need one and a half cups of sugar, a quarter cup of flour, four eggs and one cup of lemon juice. I think what I'll do is I'll mix the sugar and eggs together. So I'm going to use a hand whisk because I don't have any need to pull out a stand mixer or a hand mixer. So I'm just mixing my eggs and then we'll do the sugar. What did I say for sugar? One and a half cups of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. That's my one. That's my half. Okay, so I'm just gonna wix my wix mix whisk my eggs and sugar. Because 
because this is quite wet, I'm now going to add the lemon juice. Maybe then whisk it and maybe hopefully the liquid will dissolve the sugar, you know. So this is how much a cup of lemon juice looks. So that's, I mean, I've washed all the numbers off my jug, but it's like... Two hundred milliliters, maybe. Yeah, I've done the trick. There's no granulated sugar in that cake anymore. So now it's one quarter cup of flour that I'm definitely going to sift. This is very runny. Just put that straight in there. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Just trying to gently whisk this to combine it all without creating lumps and straw. Right, so when I seen this recipe months ago, what I wrote in my pad was 9x9 tin, 180 or 160. That makes sense to me. Bake shortbread for 15 minutes, pour lemon layer onto crust, bake for 40 to 50 minutes, let cool completely, then dust with icing. Because I understand my own instructions, but I do not understand this cake. So there's nine minutes left of that in there. So in my nine minutes time, we're gonna pour this onto that and then pray for 50 minutes that the, the God Kings allow it to be tasty. There's enough sugar in this that it should not be tasty, but we'll see. But I'll show you how, how liquidy this is. So can you see this? This is essentially the water. There's like nothing to this. So we'll see how it looks when we pour it on. So I'll come back to you in like nine minutes. Right, so I think I fucked up. I think my tin's too small, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Right. So this has been in my oven for 15 minutes. You can see it is a wobbly mess. First things first, right? I've not, <laughs> obviously not lined this very well because it's going to come up and behind the, the paper. It is what it is, right? Maybe the middle might look okay. <laughs> uh, secondly, I don't think there's enough room for all this. But again, it is what it is. So we've got our weird mixture here. We've got our weird thing here and let's just Pour that. Oh look, it's actually going into it. Okay, cool. Maybe that's not what's supposed to happen. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think this is supposed to happen. But it's done now, so put it in the oven for <laughs> put it in the oven for a uh, like 45 minutes. I can safely say I've never seen anything like that in my life. I can also safely say it's going to be really fucking weird. I don't even have the recipe to like look back on and go, that can't be right. <laughs> because it was so long ago. But, that is what it is. I think what's happened is there's been too much butter in it, which is what I thought initially. So the biscuit has become a big oily melted mess because all the butter's melting, mixing with the flour and stuff that's in. So it's soft, rather than a biscuit that should be semi-harder now. <laughs> and uh, I've poured that on and it's mixed with the butter. Essentially what I'm trying to say is it's not going to turn out the way it should. But, I'm excited to see what happens. <laughs> so I'll see you in like 45 minutes. <laughs> I have no hopes. The lemon thing has cooled down now, so we're going to see what it's like, <laughs> and I'm scared. This is what we have. This is not what it's meant to be. I mean, it smells like shortbread. So we're just going to do what it says. We're going to ice it, and we're going to cut it. Let's start by taking it. Oh no, taking it out of this. This is not going to be nice. 
Mark has seen this in the oven and said he thinks it looks really, really nice because he thought that this was a nice, intricate pattern that I designed. God bless him. My advice to all women is marry a man who's as nice as he is. Right. So let's just cover the burnt bits first. Oh yeah, I had to cover it with tin foil like halfway through because it was burning. So that's cool. So do you like bitter biscuit? Because I think that's what we've made. Do you know what? I could absolutely scrap this video, but I need you all to see that even if you can kind of bake, you still fuck up. People, people make mistakes. So if you're sitting there thinking, I'd love to bake, but I wouldn't be very good at it. There's people that are kind of good at it that are still shite. Marcus, please try some of this lemon thing. Right, so. I don't know. It looks shaky like jelly. Oh, because the lemon stuff I put in <laughs> is wet. What the fuck have I done? <laughs> yes. Yeah, don't try this. <laughs> oh, babe. So, to show you all, see the lemon stuff we made? That's like sank or something. I don't understand. I do not understand. Mm. <laughs> what is this? Like, what's happened? You can see what the shortbread was. And then the lemon stuff is just... It looks like a lemon curd. It tastes like lemon curd. Oh, that's sweet. I'm bitter. Uh, I mean, that's all burnt. At the end. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Wait, what's hold on? I mean, I, I guess I'll, I, I don't know. Okay, so this has been a disaster. I'm gonna try a wee bit, but <laughs> it's disgusting. Uh, it's just all fallen apart where the biscuit and the stuff like have separated. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus on this. Like. I don't, I don't quite understand. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Ugh. It's so lemony. Oh, it's making my eyes like which is if I'm, it's very sour. So it's not great. <coughs> it's not great. What to do? It's like 10 o'clock at night now, so I'm not gonna make another one. I'm not gonna make another one just now. But I will attempt this again. But, this goes to show you, you can only try your best. And sometimes your best isn't good enough, and that's okay. <laughs> sometimes you make a mess. That's what it is. Anyway, thanks for coming to watch me make a disaster and make something that's inedible. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.